Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to your daily Bitcoin update. Uh, we'll be taking a look at Bitcoin again. We'll talk about everything hopefully you need to know. Um, there's a lot we need to talk about. All right. So we'll, we'll first start off with some news, with some fundamentals you need to know about. And then we'll take a quick look at the technicals. I mean, in my eyes, the technical situation hasn't really changed uh, since yesterday. All right. So, so I'll cover that and then I'll tell you what might have changed. But the fundamentals are important, all right? I mean, first of all, it's the end of the month. And that's already what we talked about yesterday. And the end of the month is usually very, very volatile because it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's, it's a time of the month where a lot of big traders, funds, market makers close their positions, all right? So that brings the risk that price will fall, all right? I mean, Bitcoin has been very bullish at some point of time. It's to be expected that Bitcoin will pull back, all right? I mean, that, that's only healthy. That's only healthy for the market structure. Uh, and that would not necessarily mean that Bitcoin is going to turn bearish. Um, and because I assume that most of the big traders and funds, etc., are long, um, closing their positions would cause that pullback. Um, so yeah, that's, a, that's something that potentially could happen. Um, now, ultimately, the reason why in my last couple of videos I've still said that my most likely scenario would be that Bitcoin goes up is because it, it seems unlikely to me that they will close their positions already. Look, at some point of time, I do expect a pullback. It's, it's inevitable for Bitcoin. Um, but like this was the 23rd of October. That, that's a little over a week ago. All right. So those are huge bullish momentum moves. And usually like with the volume we had during that move, usually the price always pushes up one last time. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm, I'm fundamentally bullish on Bitcoin. Now we do have uh, a dollar strength index, which is also very bearish. All right. So that's also bullish for Bitcoin. And then tomorrow, uh, I cannot speak too much about this yet, but tomorrow and uh, we do have some important news in the uh, interest rate decision and the press conference afterwards. That's going to be important, all right? That's going to make the market move. But I very much doubt now that the consensus and the previous are also the same. Uh, and by the way, tomorrow, like, like there's a huge amount of economic news that will make the market move. Um, but right now, it's too early to talk about the effects of that. We need to see the actual numbers. And then tomorrow I'll probably do a live stream or something. Um, and, and we will see some, some big moves probably, or at least a lot of volatility. So you should know that. I think that's most of the fundamental situation you need to know apart from, apart from that, excuse me, almost had to cough. Apart from that, you can see that the open interest and the volume, I think are pretty stable. I don't, uh, if it, if, if it's loading at least, <laughs> but, but this was pretty stable. So there isn't a lot of momentum, which is also, I mean, that's also confirmed by the price action right here. Of course. Um, the, the situation technically has been that Bitcoin has kind of found a, uh, consolidation range between 35,000 and then ultimately this green box, which I initially thought Bitcoin would drop down towards, which is still a possibility, but all right. Um, and then this, this level around 33,500. And you can even argue that Bitcoin is actually showing a little bit of a bullish market structure, making higher lows right here. So eventually breaking above to 35,000 and getting up to this price target between 36,250 and 37,500. That's what I expect. I think the technicals line up for that. I think the fundamentals line up for that as well. Um, now, like I said, I mean, this doesn't necessarily need to happen today. We could also still find resistance at 35,000, drop down to 33,500, grab some liquidity there and then get that bullish breakout. That's all possible. But given the entire situation, this does seem like the most likely scenario. Uh, so those are my thoughts. Like I said, a pullback is possible. You should be prepared for that. All right. Don't open too many or, or too big uh, of, of long positions. Uh, personally, I'm also reducing my long exposure. So most of my long trades right now uh, actually have the stop loss at entry. Um, so yeah, that does reflect a little bit about my, my thoughts about a possible pullback coming earlier than I expected. But for now, I still think this is the most likely scenario. So those are my thoughts on Bitcoin. Uh, lastly, I also have my own premium trading group. If you don't care, the video is over. You don't need to listen to it. Uh, but in there, I, I share my own trades as signals. You gain access to an amazing trading guide and an amazing community. So if you actually want to make some profits in the markets uh, while also becoming a better trader yourself, consider joining. Links will be down in the description. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.